Okay, guys, I have to keep up the energy because I'm exhausted from work. So if I look like I'm dancing around like I'm crazy, it's because I'm exhausted from work. All right. I did have time to run home and take a take a shower, but we're gonna jump right in um, because we got a lot to cover. Okay, in 30 minutes. We are making codfish tacos, and I did need to start a little bit early because uh, it's hard to cook all of the stuff in exactly 30 minutes, and I wanted to make sure that we could be under the radar in terms of time. Okay, so while I was showering and handling my business, this is what I threw in this pot, and so I kind of want to jump in. I put codfish in here. <laughs> Michelle, if I have enough, I'll bring some to work tomorrow. All right, so there's... You start with the codfish. Now, I took a picture. I'm going to post it, what this codfish looks like. You, you, I buy it in a package. I buy it in a package boneless because it's a lot of work to expect that this kind of dish um, isn't going to already require a lot of work. For most of us, we're working all day. We're exhausted when we get home. We want to be at the table in 30 minutes or less. So if you're going to buy codfish, remember that it is salted. So what I did in this pot is... I threw in the codfish, some regular potatoes. I threw in some yuca, Y-U-C-A, okay? We talked about it last week, it looks like this. So it very much so looks like a potato. When you cut it in the middle, it is a, you know what? Why don't we just cut it in the middle? It's a deep white. I'm gonna move this. And though mom warned me that it would cook fast, I didn't realize how fast. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this, it's kind of hard. But when I tell you, it's very white. Now, it's not as white as the last one, I swear. It's very, very white, okay? So, I put in here, I put the yuca, the fish, potatoes, and the bananas. Remember, we talked about green bananas, which we call guineo, okay? I put all of that into boil. No, here's what we're going to do. I said we're going to be able to have this two ways, all right? But the first thing I'm going to do is a little E-B-O-O. -O. Isn't that how Rachel Ray says it? And now I am going to scoop out my fish, okay? Now, actually, you know what? I'm not going to jump the gun. Let's make up a little something, something, shall we? Mom said that it only takes about 15 minutes to make that, uh, to, to boil that codfish, and she's 100% right, okay? So I'm going to add... Mm, a scoop and a half of this sofrito. Okay. Now, I said to you guys, make the sofrito. Yes, it's work, but when I tell you it seasons everything to perfection, it seasons everything to perfection. Okay. We're going to right away, we're going to add this whole can of tomato sauce. And then I am going to, I am going to season this right away. So I'm going to use one pack of the sazon. Now, last week, week before, we made that wonderful and delicious pollo guisao. This is essentially the same thing with codfish. Don't want to use codfish? Don't like codfish? Fine, use shrimp. Don't want to use shrimp? Use the pork steak that we used yesterday. But this is a good staple. This is a wonderful, wonderful staple, okay? Now, I'm going to shake this all up kind of get this going and this is going to essentially be our our base now everything starts off red and then eventually it kind of turns like a deep uh, kind of warm caramel ish color kind of like you've seen me making the taco several times okay so it kind of browns up a little bit once the tomato sauce gets right mixed in really really nicely um with that sofrito okay now i am going to add olives love my olives this time i won't add too many the kids said i added too many yesterday okay so a little less add a, add a little bit of the sauce because i want that acidity i'm gonna keep this down at about three because i don't want it to cook too fast and then at this point you can start adding things or subtracting things as you like hey vanessa hey cynthia yes it actually cindy listen i have some so if you'd like some, I have some frozen, and I can give you some to get started, because this is like an amazing, amazing way. Guys, listen to me. On the way home, I had to stop off at the grocery store today, right? 
I need to buy some milk and some stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There was a line 20 cars deep for tacos. 20 cars deep. I thought to myself, who in the universe wants to hang out in the drive through taco joint for tacos when you can make some up? And we made them yesterday and they were delicious. So go figure. Okay. All right. I, I don't need that much. Okay. So that's about a good start. We got the onions. The sofrito marrying, we've got everything marrying real good. Now I'm going to add the codfish. Now, as you know, it is salted. So the point of boiling and then adding the vegetables to the boil is that I need the salt from the codfish to transfer onto the veggies that are in the pot. And so that's why. Now mom said, she said, when you're when you're done you'll know that codfish is going to fall apart. Now, let me tell you why I keep saying mom says this and mom says that. It's because before I started this show, I hadn't made half the things I make constantly now. Okay? Now, as, as it is, in other words, as it is just, oops, I got one of my potato fell in. As it is right now, I can mix all of this up, and this is the base for the tacos, okay? Remember I said, I promised you that we were gonna have two things to eat today. Hey guys, who else is on? All right, now if you, again, if you don't like fish, certainly you can um, substitute it. Okay, I think that's, oh, okay, oh, I got one more. All right, and if I didn't mention this, most Puerto Rican food is so affordable. I mean, not only is it very tasty. Now, people ask me all the time, Norma, what's the biggest difference between Puerto Rican food and Mexican food? And in the past, I would have said, well, they fry everything. We don't fry as much. And that is true. But I would say it's the also the way that we prepare things. I would also say that our seasoning base is different, though things do overlap. Okay. Now, you can make your codfish, and then, so I'm just kind of uh, using the spoon to kind of break it down. Because it does boil, it breaks down really nicely. You want it to be shredded. Now, if you were going to make more than one package, you could cook it and then put it in like a, a stand mixer and just put it to mix, and the mixer would break it all down which is a nice little trick I learned years ago when I'm making like chicken tacos or something like that, which I actually rarely make, okay? Alone, right here, we already have tacos. Just that fast. How long have we been on? I've never tried fish tacos. I love fish, but the idea of fish on the tortilla didn't sound right, but this looks good. Cindy, yes, you have to do it. It is so good. Imani, I love this because this is something you can have, right? Everything in here. So the corn tortillas, I think you can have corn tortillas, literally. And my son doesn't even like this. So I am going to have enough to take to work tomorrow. Okay, I'm done. Th that's it. We have made fish tacos in 10 minutes. Come on. All right, 10 minutes. Now, yes, it's cheating a little bit because I did boil the stuff. But literally all I did was boil. Okay, now. I made some tortillas in advance today. Just because you cook the cod with all the vegetables does not mean that it won't need some seasoning. Now, I did taste it before we went live, and I will say it had enough salt. Now, just because it has enough salt does not mean it has enough flavor. That just meant it had enough salt. Y'all, that it should be a sin to be that good. Now, my mom says, when you're cooking codfish, you have to be careful. Let's say that you say, Norma, I want to cook it, but I don't really have all the potatoes and stuff to add to it. How do I cook the codfish and get all the extra salt off? Well, you can boil your codfish for 10 minutes in plain water. You jump out the water, get more fresh water, and then boil it again. And you can do that until until you get uh, to the saltiness level that you desire. Does that make sense? Do you know how to make homemade Okay, so, <laughs> did you see that?
see that in my elbow? Okay. <laughs> it's all the, the pepper. Okay. Um, I don't. And here's the thing. I, I say this. Tacos really are very much so a Mexican thing, right? Oh, just so you know, for in terms of oregano and cumin, it's never, you know, kind of we talk about that every day, oregano and cumin. Okay, literally, guys, the first batch of this, this is done. I think, I think, I, I, mean, I think my family eats as many tacos as they do, Cindy, because it's easy and it's become very American, if that makes sense. But um, I would say, uh, no, I don't know how. And I kind of feel like you are going to convince me that maybe I should make some top, some tortillas on this, on this platform. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. All right. So there you have it. Okay. There you have it. There are your tortillas. Okay. I mean, your, your, your fish tacos. Now, you could add some fresh cilantro. Remember I told you we talked about that yesterday. In terms of condiments, I'm not going to do like lettuce and tomatoes and cheese and make that American. I don't like food that way, and so I'm not going to cook that way. Does that make sense? Oh, oh, let me make sure that I don't lose you guys. Okay, going over here. All right. Oh, wow, we have lots of comments. Oh, God. So as far as I'm concerned, I literally only want a sweet little dollop of Mexican sour cream, which we talked about yesterday and a little bit of cilantro, and that's it. I don't want anything else in my tacos. Okay, well, for the sake of the show, I suppose I should taste this. And then we can get on to food number two. That's heavenly. Yeah. I will say, it's heavenly. But it is salty. So, one of the things that you can do to get rid of some of the extra salt, don't think the kids are going to mind, Michelle and Imani, you guys can taste it tomorrow, is I can add some fresh avocado, mush up this avocado and put it on there. And now what am I doing? I'm distributing the salt. Does that make sense? So I'm kind of distributing that salt. It's good, but I do feel like it's a hair salty. No. I'm gonna take half of this and I'm gonna put it in a container for, so the kids can have tacos and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the rest, okay? All right, here. So now I'm gonna take half out because I don't want to mix that. Okay, now, okay, that should be, that should be enough for tacos. Okay, now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add more olive oil because now I wanna, if this makes sense. Now I kind of want to stretch the sauce that I have left. Man, people are active today. I really thought, okay. Now, I also boiled the yuca. Remember, uh, Y-U-C-A? And I will say that with the yuca, um, it got really soft. You can see that it was falling apart. You see how that's falling apart? Now I'm surprised, and I'm partly surprised. Oh, I found my fish. I'm partly surprised because I did not realize, though my warned me, that it would cook as fast as it does. Now I don't have a lot of yuca, so I did something mom actually doesn't do, and I just added some red potatoes. I make sure I use the small ones. I do like the skins on. The other thing that I had boiling in here was the green bananas. Now, if you didn't catch the show, I invite you to go um, next week and look at that. I love tacos with cilantro, onion, and sour cream. Yeah, but make sure, if you, don't just do any sour cream. Either do the Mexicana crema or the one from El Salvador, which is actually my favorite, okay? Remember we talked yes, uh, last week about green bananas? Do I have any left? Yes, I do. Let me grab one. So for those of you who are thinking, oh, that's just a regular banana that's not ripe. Well, it is a regular banana that's not ripe, but we call this guineo. And so we eat it like it's a savory so, as opposed to a sweet. So <clears throat> I sliced it off, sliced it down. The skin, I said last week, is a little tough to get off. But if you put your thumb under that skin, you can get it off. Then I sliced it in half and I boiled that too. 
it lends a, okay, I, I wanna kind of give you a good definition of what it tastes like. Let me taste it so I can see if I can come up with something creative. It doesn't taste like a banana at all. In, order, in other words, kind of that sweet. It tastes more like, believe it or not, it's in the root vegetable family. You could, you could even put sweet potatoes in here, I bet. And I, I think that would be perfectly fine. Okay, so here are the bananas. That's gonna go in. Now, I made probably too many veggies for this, but here's the thing. When mom serves this, she does not put the stuff together the way that you see me doing it. She serves the potatoes, the yuca. Uh, she serves another one called yautia, which I did not make today. I didn't, I didn't feel like my yautia was big enough. And then she puts the codfish over it and she serves it with olive oil. That's one way we can do it. But I like things that are one pan, even though I have two, I guess, technically. Okay, oh my gosh. Now I can tell that I'm familiar enough with the saltiness to know that this is going to need more potatoes. So I am going to keep loading this pan and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Guys, when I'm telling you, I have enough food here easily for today and tomorrow. Easily. I would even dare say, well, there's only three of us, but yeah, today and tomorrow. Man, the spices are getting to me, guys. All right. And that's it. Now we have, can you guys, can you, okay. Listen, I want, I want you to see this well. Let's see how we can do this. I know that this is not how we normally do the show, but I really do want you to be able to see this well. Tell me if you guys can see that well. Can you see those potatoes well? Sometimes I have to lower the light um, in order to get you guys to see something. All right. Can you see that? So there we have it, right there. So it's still, it's kind of like, it's kind of, a, so you can eat this on its own because the potatoes will give you enough, kind of a grounding filling if that makes sense. But if you don't wanna have it with the potatoes, you could actually eat this over rice. So I would say leave the potatoes off, leave the yuca in though, because the yuca breaks down quite nicely. And you could easily have this over rice, and that would be perfect. And I mean, super, literally super easy. Understand that I got home at about 540. That meant I had to set up the camera, set up the computer, set up uh, all of the ingredients, take a shower, comb my hair, get dressed, and be able to do all of that in the time that it took me to start this video on time at 630, and it's only 650. Stop it. So again, boil every single thing in the same pot. Mom said to add the yuca last, good to know. Because again, it kind of broken down. So add the meat, add the potatoes, take the meat out when it begins to kind of, um, the fish when it begins to rise. You can break that down, shred that, and then we add it to here. Onions, sofrito, sazon. We added um, pepper, some garlic, oregano, some onion, you could add uh, some um, olives, you could, by all means, you can put some cilantro, break up the leaves, add it on top, make this with, you could even put this over baked potato. God, it's coming to me. Baked potato, boom. Make the meat without any of the potatoes or whatever you got or anything inside, make it, put it over a baked potato and you're done. See, I just, I mean, the ideas just keep coming, people. The ideas just keep coming. All right. I love you. Uh, Jesus loves you. Listen, guys, we are toward the end. And as we go back into the world, I hope that the thing that we have learned from this corona thing is that we need each other and we need to be kind to each other. Today, as I was reading my Bible or having my morning time, um, sometimes I feel like God speaks to me and he tells me things that I really, really need to know. And I, I write little notes on my wrist and I, I write little notes on my wrist to myself because I wash my hands 500 times a day, right? Because of all the dirty stuff that I do. And today I wrote, it's not about me. It's not about me because sometimes even I can be so selfish. I get so caught up in what I want and how I feel and what I need. And 
that sometimes I forget that it's not about me. It's about you. I do this because I love you. I do this because I care about you. I do this because I want to be a smile in your life. I want you to know that I love you. Jesus loves you. You're amazing. And you have gifts that the world is waiting for. So go out there, charge your head, enjoy your Puerto Rican version of Single the Mile, and I will see you back here tomorrow for Business Wednesday. We are still talking to wannabe entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, and people who are ready to get off the employee track and start something new. Wednesday, Thursday, we have Dessert Thursday. I don't know what we're making yet. Friday. We have prayer and we have a great word for you. I'm super excited. I love you guys. Enjoy your night. I will see you tomorrow. Mwah, mwah. Okay, go hang out with your family. See you later.